Hey everyone, I've had a lot of people ask me about the Black Echo rebroadcasting project or the Black Echo project. And uh, so in preparation for T-Rex, I wanted to just demonstrate uh, the setup that I have right now. So let me just take you to uh, this setup that I'm running right now. This one is a 30 watt amplifier. It's adjustable. Uh, all the way down to from zero all the way up to 30 watts and I'll go over this now this is what I bought uh, I don't know a couple of years ago it replaced my older one which I'll show you in just a second but uh, this one is of course it is not legal to transmit above uh, what is that that half a watt and then what it, really what it comes down to is uh, your your peak output and it's it's a measured distance from your antenna. Uh, that's what they go by. But uh, you definitely want to avoid any uh, broadcasting on, you know, any used frequency. That's you know any frequency that's in in use. If any interference, they'll slam you. If you run high power, they'll slam you. But in case of an extreme emergency, uh, you know this would be a great way to inform those in your community. Uh, who might otherwise not have access to timely information during a disaster. Now, let me take you back to my my first uh, transmitter. This is a CZH7C, which is uh, a maximum of seven watts. This is such a simplistic little system. You can really run it off any MP3 player uh, with a double-ended audio patch cable, eighth inch uh, patch cable and if you'd like to use a microphone you don't have to but there's uh, audio input and microphone input uh, on each side of that so if you wanted to be your own DJ or bring uh, public service announcements and things like that to your community this is a little desktop computer microphone that I got for I think 99 cents or 50 cents at a thrift store plugs right in there and it does the job uh, now what I have also for my go kit is the the very first soundboard that i bought for uh, radio free readout several years ago so when i upgraded and got a, a larger more capable soundboard as we grew i kept this it was working great uh, we just outgrew it so for live events we had multiple microphones and tapped into the stage and uh, things like that then you know this wasn't doing the job but for a black echo broadcasting station something like this is just incredible that's a uh, that's a Behringer uh, the very affordable but you don't really need something like that just to get the job done and get on the air you can run this off of any mp3 player that has a headphone audio jack out and uh, the connection uh, these oftentimes will come with a uh, telescoping antenna that just plugs right into the back and I'll just show you real quick there is a typical BNC connector right there get some light on it there's a BNC connector and it's 12 volts in that was one of the requirements that I looked for for a field portable emergency black echo station is 12 volts uh, so that I can run off of pretty much any power source so I can use a 110 to 12 volt power supply when the grids up or I can just run off battery when 110 is not available and I also bought a BNC to uh, SO239 connector so that I can run an external, I can run a long coax out to, you know, an external antenna. And that'll help you increase the gain. And we have an antenna that uh, actually an Amron operator built for me for an event that we were doing, our very first Black Echo, uh, I guess, debut. We covered it on FM broadcast low power uh, for this event and um, this was the transmitter that was used for that now let me take you back to our current transmitter that we upgraded to a couple of years ago now this is a uh, what I just call a Hilly uh, HLLY which I have not seen those around I think CZ or CZH may have bought them out but they still have 25 watt 15 watt 30 watt uh, FM transmitters out on the market but just let me give you a little quick tour here of some of the settings okay here's all your settings just at a glance that is the frequency that you're transmitting on the 79 is the max amount of audio volume from the front panel 
without getting into the menu, turning the main dial adjusts the output volume. I keep it maxed out at about uh, 79 right there. This is high as it goes. Uh, your power output right now is uh, 0.6 watts. So just about a half a watt. And my SWR is 1.0. That's where you want to be. That's ideal. Of course, the antenna was built for specifically 107.5 FM with, uh, I mean, like a one-to-one -one SWR ratio. So there's uh, no loss from the antenna. It is all the power going out is going out as signal. So there's uh, it's a pretty good little J-pole out there. So All right, you press the just press the main knob in and this gives you your menu. So uh, the first setting is how to set your frequency. And right there I can adjust, I can go uh, any frequency from about 88 megahertz to like 108.5. Like I said, you just wanna make sure that you are not interfering with any commercial uh, broadcasting stations. And you can look that up online uh, or you can just tune with your radio dial, but sometimes uh, depending on your receiver, that can be misleading. You might not be able to pick up a station that's actually there. So if you're transmitting, you could be interfering with another station. So your online uh, online databases are really good for that. Go forward number two. This is your audio volume. Like I said, I got it at 79, and that is accessible from the main uh, main viewing panel without having to go into your sub menus. The next is the microphone volume. This does have an extra extra input for microphone, but uh, I have, right now I'm transmitting or broadcasting through a, a soundboard. So all my audio, including my microphone and music is going through one uh, outlet. And I've got that going into the back in uh, with RCA connectors. Next one is your power setting. Okay, this is where you set your, your power to transmit on and right now I'm at uh, seven watts or I mean <laughs> seven watts point seven watts about a half a watt fifth setting is uh, whether you you want to select stereo or mono I have stereo selected next one is temperature setting this is a safety setting 70 cent uh, centigrade is your maximum uh, for uh, your heat inside your transmitter if it hits 70 degrees celsius it will automatically uh, shut down to protect the circuitry so that's adjustable uh, your swr setting here's another protection you want to uh, set your swr based on the maximum you want it to be so if you hit a 2.5 SWR standing wave ratio, that will automatically shut this down once you break past the 2.5 SWR mark. And of course, we're at uh, a 1.0 SWR because of the, the RG8 low loss cable and the tuned J pole specifically for the frequency of 107.5. It's everything's just dialed in, working really well. But uh, that will help protect your setting in case you get some wires crossed you shorten something out um, that will protect your equipment uh, for some reason they have a mute on here so that you can mute the outgoing and you can turn it off probably because once you turn this on it is automatically transmitting which is why you do not want to turn this unit on without being connected to an antenna but uh, yeah, I guess if you're going to do some testing in the studio and you have some stuff going on, uh, but you need this on and don't necessarily want to transmit, uh, you can just mute it. We are transmitting right now. And then that's it. Just exit the menu by uh, number nine is your exit. And this takes you back to your main panel. So right now we're putting out uh, just a little over a half a watt and a standing wave ratio or SWR of 1.0. And there's our running temperature right there. We've got the, the break off at, what was that, 70 centimeters or 70 centigrade. So, uh, you know, we're quite a ways. We're running uh, pretty cool. And our, temp our volume is right at 79. Broadcasting on 107.5 FM. 
Okay, here's the back of the uh, 30 watt transmitter. This right here is an end connector coming out the back. And I bought an adapter to go from an end connector to an SO239 into my RG8. And I uh, think I'm thinking about saving up and when I get a chance to is replacing the RG8 with LMR400. Uh, both are excellent performers. This is really good for low loss for VHF uh, communications, whether you're dealing with FM broadcasting or just a two meter ham bands. Uh, RG8 is, is really excellent shielded cable. This is 12 volts in, seven amps. If you have, I had a three amp power supply plugged into this and uh, that will not allow you to put out 30 watts if you don't have at least seven amps going out and in the back, I've got this plugged into a 10 amp outlet. So if I were to crank this all the way up to 30 watts, it would put out almost 30 watts. Probably, I'm guessing about 27, 28, 26 20 to 28 watts. Uh, there is a eighth inch input for your microphone, just like on the smaller unit I showed you. And then there's your audio in. Now this larger unit has the option of using RCA cables. And that's what I have coming from my soundboard, my large soundboard here in the studio. So that's how I'm feeding everything. And then we'll go outside. I'll show you the antenna that was built. And of course, uh, if you have just a smaller uh, antenna, you know, something like a little telescoping antenna, there's gonna be a lot of loss. If you use some other type of coax cable that's not really well shielded, there could be a lot of loss. All of that stuff will affect your signal and your you know your, your power your peak power coming off your antenna outside and of course how well the antenna is tuned and how far off frequency you are from the the resonant frequency of your antenna for example that antenna was built for 107.5 fm dead on if i scroll down and change my frequency to say 88.5 the SWR would arise considerably and I would have a, a weaker signal going off of it okay here's the copper J pole that a Amron operator built for for us a couple of years ago when we had an event of course I have the uh, Amron flag up there from attitude gear and uh, those are those are great flags kind of uh, it's not unfurled right now, but I also have a radio for readout black skull pirate radio flag that I normally put up there. But uh, I'm going to be making a few improvements to this. I just got a regular, it's the pole uh, that I fabricated a pole within a pole within a pole. And I also have this connected with rg8 cable so there's the uh, least amount of loss and this right here i don't know what this is maybe rg8x or something it's it's painted gray so i'm actually going to reconstruct this i'm going to rebuild this so that we've got rg8 low loss all the way uh, up to the connection points at some point probably after t-rex and we're broadcasting right now actually on uh, less than a watt and this little radio right out here is picking up the signal just fine and you can pick it up uh, about an eighth of a mile away on the the super low power that we have operating right now And here's with a little uh, external speaker that I picked up, battery powered. It operates off of uh, five volts, powers off a of USB, recharges, and uh, adds a little bit of quality, bassy, kind of a bassy sound to it. So there is a Black Echo Radio Station 01, Radio for Redoubt. <laughs> 